Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Recently on one of my live stream, a friend of mine challenged me to a hydroponic grow to see if we can grow elephant ear. And these are Vietnamese elephant ear and they're very similar to taro, but uh, you grow these for the stems and not for the root bulb. So here I have a small plant that I just dig out. These things multiply at the bottom. They don't produce seeds or anything like that. So they have a um, little bulb at the bottom and then they'll divide just like a, a aloe vera. So here is a baby plant. Let me show you some of the larger one. So here is a larger one. Uh, these are very unique variety of uh, plants because uh, they're, they're grown in the tropic and uh, they can withstand pretty cold temperature so the root bulb is very deep down in the soil and in the winter time the the stems and the leaves would die back and then in the springtime when everything is warm up again they'll uh, dig out of the ground and they'll start again so these things are perennial actually um, which is very surprising because they're tropical plants so uh, I have a baby plant that I dug out so we're gonna grow that right now okay so here we have the plant so what I'm going to do there may be multiple plants I'm not sure uh, we're gonna wash off the dirt and then we're gonna put it in this uh, container here which is a um, a lid for a five gallon bucket it fits on top just like that and the reason we're using uh, the large uh, opening here is because again these things multiply the bottom so they they may get pretty large so that's why the two or three inch net cups are, are not going to work and then we're also going to have have these pebbles here which is going to help the stand the, to stand the, the plants up inside the bucket so let's go ahead and clean this off real quick Okay, so here we have multiple plants. You see how they divide? They have this little bulb down here. And then they, uh, they just sprout new plants out of that. So eventually there will be more plants that, come, that will come out of here. So we can, there we go, we can just divide them like that. So maybe I'll take uh, the larger one and then uh, we're just going to grow this okay so everything is nice and clean so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add pebbles to uh, this container here and then we're going to help the plant stand up like this Okay, there we go. So next we're going to rinse it off a little bit and then we're going to add our nutrients. Okay, so we are going to use solar power to run this system. So now what we're going to do is add our air stone. Okay, and now we're going to add our nutrients. And the only thing I have right now is the AeroGuard nutrients. So we're using five milliliter per gallon. Here's the uh, one teaspoon or five milliliter dropper. And now we're going to add water and the water will mix up everything for us. Okay, we want to put this in here that way we can fill up the water and we want it to go past the bottom of the net cup just about half an inch to an inch and that that should be good uh, don't fill it all the way up here then uh, the plant will constantly sit inside water and uh, that may cause problems so let it touch the bottom a little bit and that should be good And we have our solar pump right here.
and when the sun is out it's gonna run right now we have a little sun you see there there's some bubbles going on see that so we all good to go and I'm going to put this in a spot where it's going to get um, a few hours uh, of morning sun all the way down to the afternoon and then in the late afternoon it's gonna get shade and uh, that will, will work best for this uh, this elephant ear okay so let me show you where it goes okay it's going to sit here under my patio next to the pepper plant this is a good spot because it gets a lot of uh, nice warm sun until it gets to the late late afternoon where it gets super super hot and it'll get shaded here so it, it is a good spot so uh vince here it is my friend this is a test for you for you so uh we'll be back soon okay it has been 33 days now and the plant is looking really nice it grew quite a bit and when we first put it in here it's a very small plant but now look at the size of this after 33 days uh, these plants do take a while to get started but once they get established they do grow a little faster and also they will sprout out little baby plants at the bottom uh, just like aloe and stuff like that they put out little pups i don't know what the babies of these are called but that's basically the same way but uh yeah um the sun the sun is uh, out right now so the pump is working great and you see there's air being pumped in there uh, I did add a little bit of water because the level dropped below the net cup. I always want uh, the water to touch the bottom of the net cup when I'm doing DWC method. So that is why. So monitor and make sure you just add some water. Uh, add a little tr nutrients if you need, if it drops like a, a, a good amount. But um, usually if it drops a gallon, you add 5 milliliter and then put it back. And uh, after a while you can change the nutrients out but it's only been 33 days it hasn't drank that much so i haven't done anything else to it so there it is vince it does work these plants will work in hydroponic uh, i recommend dwc because they are a uh, long time growing plant so they do need that um that aeration and uh it's just better that way if you're going to grow uh, plants for a long time and on top of it look what i did i grew a baby plant in the cracky setup inside and it does work so let me take this out and show you here it is look at that this is a cracky method in a baby bottle a mini system and it does work you got to monitor the water level and just keep adding because the system is so small but uh both method will work uh just as well but I recommend the DWC as I mentioned. So uh, there it is, guys. Uh, Vince, I hope you enjoy this experiment. And uh, other people, if you guys have anything else you want me to do or test in hydroponic, please leave a comment um, and suggest. But uh, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.